welcome back to my channel. I need to stop saying hey everyone, welcome back to my channel because it's really annoying. I have a really exciting video for, to, for you today and this is going to be a collaboration with the lovely Anayas here on YouTube. If you guys didn't know, we are cousins so definitely check her out, subscribe to her, watch her videos, give them a thumbs up because she is my girl. We wanted to do a makeup tutorial based on purple so I'm gonna more I'm gonna focus more on the purple lip and she is gonna focus more on the purple eyes. She went all out, man, like if you're going to like a party or if you're going to a, what is it called, what is, um, like, like a festival or something, that is like a turn up look, you are ready to turn up, you're ready to party, you're ready to take the pictures. But anyways, I will leave her channel down below, I will leave the video that she did down below so you guys can check it out because it is definitely something you guys want to see because I've never seen that makeup before in my life. On the other hand, my makeup is more focused on cooler tone purple. I have a very dark purple lip that it looks almost black, but it's not. It's purple. Thinking about it, it would be really pretty for the winter time or fall time. You can also switch out this lip color to any lip color of your choice. It's it's really, this look is very versatile. You can wear it with anything. So I want to mention something really exciting. I have a new camera finally. I am filming on my Canon Rebel T5i. I picked it up two weeks ago, something around there, and I am so excited for the quality and finally it's so much easier to film now because the camera is standing. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I was filming on my iPhone my previous videos and you know a lot of you guys liked it too but it was just really hard to film with because it kept on falling over I will I will leave all the products that I used down below as well as um, coupon codes for you guys to check out if you guys want to yeah. also my next video I am gonna do something differently on my channel I am going to do makeup on a client video show you guys how I do makeup on people like for my clients just like the things to do, the things not to do, um, it's going to be very interesting to see and that is going to be my next video for upload, uh, for me to upload. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that so you guys can see when that comes out. Please subscribe for more videos guys, thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my next video. You just want to start out with a clean moisturized face and then I'm applying MAC strobe cream all over my skin just to give me that glow and luminosity. You want to just go ahead and apply your chapstick just to prep for any lipstick that's going to come in later. And then I'm applying my aloe BB cream. This is, it hydrates, conceals, and all that stuff. It is so amazing. It gives me great coverage and it's very um, hydrating. So if you have dry skin, I think it'd be really nice. I don't think it works that well with oily skin, but it is a really great BB cream. And I will leave it down below where you guys can get it yourself because I use it all the time. And I'm just applying this with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just um, applying it downwards on my skin. And as you can see, it looks really natural and I love it. Then I'm applying a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer only to the areas that are needed. And I have a lot of darkness under my eyes and just naturally. So I'm just applying concealer just a little bit, not too much because you, re you really don't want to cake on this area. You just want to apply as much as needed. And I'm taking my favorite Rimmel Match Perfection. It is not very um, high coverage, but I like to use it for highlighting. So I just highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead and cupid's bow. Just to give me that extra lift to my um, eyes and my face. Especially when it comes to concealer, you really want to just press that concealer into the skin. As you can see, I'm just kind of lifting it up because that way it's not going to really move around the foundation or the BB cream. It just kind of place it in there and give it the most maximum coverage. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Under Eye Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just going to set that under eye. This powder is very thin. It's kind of transparent, you can say. So it's not going to give you any coverage. It's just going to set um, that under eye area. 
and then I'm just gonna quickly fill in my eyebrows I already did an eyebrow tutorial saying how like I groom them and fill them in everything like that so I will leave that down below and then grabbing my painterly pro longwear paint pot I'm just gonna apply this onto my lids and then taking makeup geeks vanilla bean I'm just gonna um, does this all over my lid just to remove the tackiness from the pro longwear paint pot and then grabbing ho or hue or whatever it is from mac it's just a mauve transition shade and i'm just applying this to my outer corner and bringing that into my crease i want the most product to be on the outer corners of my eyes and then the excess to kind of blend everything in i just drag it into the crease just to kind of finish it off a little bit and then I'm taking this eyeshadow, I forgot what it's called, Earthly Wine I believe, into my outer corner and then doing the same exact thing I did just with Hue. And then this is from the company called Unique Pro Makeup I believe. And I will leave everything down below. And then I'm just dragging this into my outer corner and then into my crease. Just but keeping it a little bit more denser so it's a lot more pigmented. And I'm applying this with my Sigma E25 brush. Now my favorite part is I'm taking Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer, which is my favorite eyeshadow of all time, and I'm going to use this e.l.f. Uh, short shader brush, and I'm going to use it wet, so the eyeshadow goes on a lot more pigmented, and I'm just placing that onto the lid. I'm not placing it above my crease, because I want this mainly on the lid. And as you can see, it just really lifts my eye and brightens it. Now I'm just going to blend all these shadows together so there's no harsh lines and then grabbing Makeup Geek's Corrupt Black Shadow. I'm just going to um, apply this to my lash line just so my lashes look a lot more fuller and it kind of gives it a little bit more definition. I'm just taking Max Shroom as a brow bone highlight with my big fluffy Morphe brush and I'm just popping it right in the center of my brow bone. And then I'm taking that earthly wine shade again and just applying that to my lower lash line. I don't want my lower lash line to be really smoky but I want something there for some definition. And I'm taking my NYX Jumbo White pencil in milk and then I'm just applying that to my waterline just to make my eyes appear bigger and whiter. And then I'm taking my this is actually me trying out the Fiber Lash Mascara. And I don't know, it was really interesting. It made my lashes um, really clumpy, but that is the, how the fiber looks, and that's the result. It looks really messy, does it? I don't know. Where are my eye on my lashes? And the lashes that I'm using are by iMemo Cosmetics. I just cut them in half and I'm just applying some glue and just using them as half lashes. They're very similar to House of Lashes Noir Fairy. They're just much more um, subtle. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm only using that middle taupey shade. I forgot what it is called. But I'm just carving out my cheekbones and then applying the bronzer all over my the perimeter of my face. And then I am taking uh, Max Blush in Mocha and then applying that to my cheeks and then blending it back. And then taking my Becca Cosmetics highlighter in Moonstone. And I've been obsessed with this lately. So I got these liquid lipsticks off of eBay for like a dollar. It's like a dollar, a couple cents. And they're, I gotta say, they're very intense long-lasting pigmented liquid lipsticks and I got a couple shades just to play around with and just to test them out and I am gonna first try out this mauve pink shade so this is number 16 it's pink but it has like that mauve undertone and as you guys can see it, this formula is very sticky that's one thing I don't like about this uh, this lipstick so you guys can see that and I actually want to outline my lips with a super dark grape um, lip liner. And this is this is um, 179 Grape Vine Lip Pencil by Sonia Cosmetics. You guys know about this company that I've been using basically all my life. And I'm just going to line my lips to really deepen up that lip, lip color. <laughs> okay. 
I'm actually going to fill in my whole lip with this. I am not used to seeing this color on my lips.